Hi everyone. Today we're going to explore one of the most exciting aspects of Motion Tools Pro, making it visually yours. The ability to customize how everything looks doesn't just make the extension more appealing, it actually improves your workflow by making tools easier to find and more intuitive to use. Important note, many new features described in this tutorial were added in version 2.0.4. Please update your extension to the latest version to access all new features. Motion Tools Pro offers two styling areas, individual tools like scripts and widgets, and entire panel layouts. You can customize cells and widgets with unique icons, backgrounds and colors, or style complete layouts with consistent themes. All styling is managed in the Content Settings panel. You can find individual tool styling in the Scripts list, Panel Layouts in the Layout section in the Third Settings tab, and Theme Management in the Theme section. If you're new to Layouts, please refer to the first tutorial about the extension. The key concept to understand is the distinction between Global and Layout settings. Global settings apply across the entire extension. For built-in tools, these include icons, names, and help tips. They are unchangeable, but custom scripts can have their global properties changed at any time. When you style a tool before adding it to a layout, those changes appear everywhere. Layout-specific styling lets you override a tool's appearance in just one selected layout. This flexibility means the same script can have a vibrant look in your animation layout while appearing more subtle in your utility layout. These extra styling settings will only appear after adding the tool to the selected layout. Let's start by customizing how individual script cells and widgets look within your layouts. To style a tool that's already in your layout, first open the settings panel by clicking the gear icon in any tool panel or right click and select content settings. You'll land in the content settings area. In the left navigation tree, select the panel and layout you want to work with. Then click on the specific tool or cell you want to style. Look for the styling section in the form that appears. This is where all the customization happens. For faster access, simply right-click on the tool and select Script Settings. The background of a cell has a huge impact on its visual appearance, and we've recently expanded your options here. You can choose simple solid colors from the color picker or create two color gradients. You can also upload standard images including SVG files or even videos like GIF or MP4 to use as cell backgrounds for richer visuals. For the best experience, we recommend using dark colors for backgrounds because the extension mainly uses dark theme colors. One of our most exciting new features is Rive Animations for Backgrounds. Rive Animations bring your cells to life with motion. Rive creates lightweight vector-based animations that can even be interactive. In the background settings here, you'll find an option to select or upload a Rivi file. Once applied, the animation will play as your cell's background. The input also supports links to Rive files hosted anywhere. Just ensure that the link includes the RIV format at the end, and press the Fetch button. We also try to fetch available artboards and state machines, which you can select from the list. For Rive backgrounds, we advise turning off the name and icon visibility in the cell settings. This prevents conflicts with the animation and ensures Rive correctly tracks mouse events. If you are an experienced Motion Tools Pro user, you may have experienced significant slowdown after using images and videos and styling. This happened because we included the files in the configuration files, which could slow down the extension when you have many of them. We have changed the way we handle images and videos in the extension for better performance. We've added a new feature called Assets-Based Styling. When you select an image or video for your panel background, Motion Tools Pro now copies the file into a dedicated assets folder. This dramatically improves performance and keeps your configuration files lightweight. 
If you decide to relocate the styling to another computer, you now need to duplicate the assets folder with configuration files. We preparing more convenient way to do this in the next versions. Icons are essential for quickly identifying your tools. You can turn on off icons visibility in the cell settings. You now have several icon options. You can choose from our new built-in set of clean, lucid icons. Press on Icon Preview button to see the icon in the cell. Select any one and press Save. You can select any image or Rive animation like we did with backgrounds. Rive icons bring new possibilities like animated icons that change on hover or click. One thing to note, Rive animations have their own internal colors, so the text color setting of your cell won't affect the colors inside the Rive animation. Each cell has individual show name and show icon toggles that control whether the cell displays its name, icon, both, or neither. The positioning of these elements adapts to the cell's dimensions. Wide cells display them in a left-aligned column, while single or narrow cells stack them vertically for optimal layout. You can control how text appears on your cells through several settings. The display name for custom tools can be unique for each layout. Previously, a single text color setting controlled both the cell's name text and the icon color. Now you have two separate settings. Text color for the name and icon color specifically for the icon. If you want to change the text or icons for all cells at once, we have new options in the layout appearance settings. We will tell you about them a bit later. For cells with beautiful backgrounds or distinctive icons, you might want to hide the text entirely. Or for complex tools, you might want to show both name and icon for clarity. It's your choice. Complex widgets might have their own additional styling options for internal elements like slider tracks, color pickers, or buttons. You'll find these in the Similar Styling section. These options allow you to create a consistent look across your entire panel, even for more complex interactive elements. When styling tools, you'll see several important buttons at the bottom of the form. The Save button updates the global settings of a tool, like its icon or for custom tools, its name and description. The Add to Layout or Update in Layout button applies your layout-specific styling changes. If you've made changes you don't like, the Reset button reverts a cell's styling back to its default appearance. Remember to press Save after making changes to ensure they're applied properly. Beyond individual tools, you can create distinctive looks for entire panels based on which layout is active. This helps create visual separation between different workflows or tasks. To style an entire layout, first open the Settings panel. Navigate to the third Settings tab, which contains app settings including layouts. Then select the specific layout you want to style from the list. You'll see detailed appearance settings on the right side of the panel. Start by giving your layout a recognizable identity. The Layout Name field lets you give it a descriptive name. The Layout Icon field lets you assign an emoji or a simple character to make it easier to spot in drop-down menus. For the overall panel background, you have several options. You can choose a background type, solid color, gradient, an image or video file, or After Effects theme color. To add a background, Use the file picker to select an image or video. If you want to remove it later, use the clear X button next to the file preview. The system supports standard images like PNG, JPG, as well as video files like MP4. Cell settings establish the baseline look for all cells in this layout. You can set the default cell width and height in pixels to control how large your tools appear. The spacing field defines the gap between cells in the grid. You can choose a default cell background type, color, or gradient.
that all new cells will inherit. If you already style a specific cell somehow, its style has a priority and will remain the same. Set a standard cell border color to create visual boundaries between cells. Note that you can use alpha channel for the color to make it transparent. This will better fit for the layout with complex backgrounds. For cell content visibility, we've introduced two new global settings that control visibility across your entire layout more comprehensively. Text visibility and icon visibility. The text visibility setting gives you three options. Show all text makes every cell's name visible no matter what, overriding individual settings. Select Hide All Text to make all text disappear across the layout, or pick None to let each cell follow its own individual setting. The same system works for the Icon Visibility setting. This gives you flexibility. You can enforce a consistent look across your entire layout. These defaults save you time when adding new tools, as they'll automatically adopt this styling unless you override them individually. You can further customize the panel's overall appearance through several settings. The default text size controls how large text appears in cell names and other text elements. The icon size setting lets you set the standard size for all icons, including lucid icons, image icons, and your new rive icons. You can control whether tooltips appear by default when hovering over cells and toggle the visibility of the add button on empty cells. For a more compact look, you can hide the panel's top bar by toggling the Hide Title Bar option off. This gives you more screen space for your tools. Once you've perfected your layout appearance, you have several options for saving and applying these styles. The Update Layout button saves your changes for the selected layout. The Save Style button exports your current layout appearance settings as a reusable file that you can share or use on other layouts. If you have a style you particularly like, you can apply it to other layouts using the Load Style button. And if you ever want to start fresh, the Reset Style button reverts to default appearance settings. Few more options can help you manage all layouts at once. Creating layouts and saving them as styles lets you quickly apply consistent looks across different panels or share them with colleagues. Another one new option available is Theme Style that simplifies the styling process. Navigate back to the Settings panel and locate the theme settings in the sidebar. This will open your Style Command Center. What's the difference between the Theme and Layouts tabs? In the Layout tab, styling is always attached to the specific layout. The themes are universal. Think of them like a library. The interface is split into three parts that work together. On the left, you'll see all your available styles, both built-in themes and your custom creations. The small grid is a live preview with sample cells that update in real time as you make changes and the styling form, similar to the one in the Layout tab. This editor is created to make a special space for your styles and experiments. Create fresh themes from scratch or duplicate existing ones as starting points. Fine-tune colors, spacing, backgrounds, and text settings until they match your vision exactly. Remove styles you no longer need with a simple click. All changes will not affect any layouts, like styling directly in the Layout tab. For better organization, you can back up your collection, share with team members, or bring in styles from others. Just click the drop-down menu in the bottom corner for these options. Here's where everything connects. Once you've crafted the perfect theme, head back to any layout settings. Look for the Theme Style drop-down in the Appearance settings. One selection instantly transforms your entire layout with your custom theme. As a bonus, we added a new Rive widget that lets you use Reeve animations in a dedicated space with enhanced functionality. You'll find it in the library under the Rive animation name. To access its settings, press the Settings button in the bottom right corner. The Animation tab works similarly to the Cell Background options, you can select any file or paste a link, 
then choose from available state machines and artboards for your animation. For a faster workflow, you can simply drag and drop files from your computer into the widget to use them. In the Settings tab, you'll find a Rendering Engine selector. Canvas works best for most animations, while WebGL delivers better performance when your animation uses advanced Rive effects like feathering. The third tab is Packs. This is where you can save your animations into collections for easy access. We've prepared a starter pack of animations from our Rive course to help you get started. Here are some advanced tips to get the most out of the styling system. When using Rive animations, keep them reasonably optimized, especially if you're using many simultaneously. Large, complex animations can impact performance. The new icons library and asset handling are designed for better performance than previous versions. Panel background images and videos are now managed as assets rather than being embedded in configuration files, just like icons. This keeps your configuration files small and loads panels faster. Be mindful when using many large images, videos, and Rive animations on one panel, as they can affect performance. If you notice any sluggishness, Simpler styling with solid colors and lucid icons will always be most performant. With these powerful styling options, Motion Tools Pro becomes truly yours. The new Rive Animations and Icons Library open up visually engaging panels to fit your mood and taste. Don't be afraid to experiment. The right visual organization can make a huge difference in how quickly you find tools and how enjoyable they are to use. Happy styling, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.